Good weekend for Rory McIlroy as he uh, won again at Quail Hollow doing a record-setting performance. And uh, Rory joins us uh, from London. What are you doing in London, Rory? And first of all, congratulations. Uh, what are you doing in London? Thanks, Dan. Um, and I, yeah, I, I got a, a late flight out of Charlotte last night um, in London today and doing some stuff with Nike and Nike Time London uh, later on. And uh, yeah, just interacting with some consumers and I'm doing a lot of stuff for them. So uh, busy, busy day ahead for me. What do people say to you on the street? Uh, honestly, I, I haven't really been on the streets yet. It was sort of straight from the airport into the hotel it changed and I'm in some sort of studios at the minute. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's been, it's been a lot different since the, since the end of sort of last summer when in this couple of majors, it's, um, you know, it's good. You know, people recognize you a little bit more and come up to you in the street and give you on pictures and, you know, congratulate you. It's, it's nice. Good, good position to be in. When's the last time you bought a beer? Last time I bought a beer, uh, probably last weekend. So you, weekend before that maybe, but you actually bought it. Yeah, yeah, I bought it. Yeah. If if we went out and played golf, are we allowed to have beers? Of course you are. Yeah. If you if you want to have a little bit of fun and make it a little more enjoyable, of course. Okay, so we can wear like plaid pants and we can have cigars and we can drink beer. Uh, you can drink beer. I don't know about the plaid pants. Um, <laughs> and if cigars are your thing, then if cigars are your thing, then that's fine. But uh, I, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd stay away from the plaid pants. Can you tell a bad golfer by just how they look, how they dress? You, you get an idea. You get an idea. You know, you you have these these typical guys that think they if they try to dress well or try to dress. Dress, dress the part, and that's going to help them play the part. But um, usually, that's that's not the case. What do you do now better than you did, say, two or three years ago? Uh, honestly, I think it's more of mentally. I'm I'm, I'm just better. Uh, you know, I'm 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 older. I've been in more you know situations and positions where you know I've learned from things, from wins, from losses. Uh, I just know how to handle handle certain situations better on the course. I think that's the, the biggest difference between where I was as a golfer three years ago and, and, and where I am now. Body shape, though, you've changed. How much vanity goes into how you look as a golfer? Because for decades, it would be like, look at that guy's build. He's not an athlete. You know, Tiger all of a sudden changed all of that. You're certainly in great shape as well. How important is it with just the look of that? Uh, I think. I mean, I think golf has progressed a lot, and it has become more of an athletic sport. I mean, you look at the, you look at some of the moves that that guys make at the ball now, and it is. I mean, you need to be strong in certain areas. I mean, you don't need to be, you don't need to be built like a linebacker, but you, you know, you, you need to have stability and, and strength in certain areas in your body. And of course, I mean, I think if if more golfers look athletic, it portrays a much better image for the game and. Uh, you know, that encourages kids to maybe pick up a, a sport or, or pick up a club and, and maybe it encourages their parents to, to get them into golf as well because, um, you know, maybe 15, 20 years ago, the, the image of golf, golf wasn't athletic. It wasn't, it wasn't the way it is now and Tiger has changed that and um, you look at some of the younger guys that are now on tour and um, you know, the look is much different and I think that's a great thing for golf. He's Roy McElroy, fresh off the win at Quail Hollow, joining us from London, Dan Patrick Show. What did you think when you saw the cover of Sports Illustrated and Jordan Spieth was on it? Um, I mean, he deserved he deserved to be on it. I mean, to win to win the Masters at twenty one, um, to do it the way he did, uh, you know, he, you know, it was a phenomenal performance. It definitely inspired me. Um, you know, I, I didn't I didn't like not being in that position. You know, I've practiced hard and I you know I prepared as best as I possibly could, and um, I just came up short. Uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm really happy for Jordan. He's a, he's a, he's a great guy. Um, you know, I've gotten to know him pretty well over the last couple of years. Uh, and you know, I'm, I'm expecting, you know, more of that part of him in the future, but, you know, I know that, that I'm going to have to work hard to, um, you know, stand ahead of him and, and, and try and beat him. But, um, you know, it was great to see it's great for golf, you know, these younger guys coming up and coming through and, 
uh, you know, more competition is, is good. Yeah, but even when I said, what did you think when you saw Jordan Spieth on the cover of Sports Illustrated and you gave me that laugh, uh, you know, I don't know if you consider him your rival or, your, um, or you want him to be your – it can bring the best out in you. You know, sometimes these guys don't have somebody right alongside of them and they, they don't become even better. So Jordan Spieth can make you even greater, can he? I, yeah, I, I, I definitely agree. Um, you know, you look at um, you know, some other sports and some of the other rivalries, um, you, know, you know, I'm taking an individual sport like tennis, um, you know, Roger and, and Rafa, you know, they made each other better. Yeah. Um, you know, there, there's always been rivalries in tennis like that. Uh, and it would be great. You know, I think even, even Phil made Tiger better. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, it, you know, as I said, it inspired me to see Jordan do what he did at Augusta. It, it inspired me to, you know, to, to go out and maybe have a little bit more edge and a little bit more intensity. And, and since then, you know, it's been nice to pick up a couple of wins, uh, in my last three starts. And, um, I'm sure that will, That'll spur Jordan on as well, but you know you look at what Ricky did at the players as well, and you know there's a lot of young guys that can, you know, that can can go ahead now and and take control of big golf tournaments, and you know again that can only be that can only be good for golf. But uh, I think the the healthy healthy competition and rivalry is a is definitely a good thing for for all of us. What else do you do well? You good at soccer? I'm okay at soccer. I'm not. I mean, I, I played I played growing up. Um, you know, I'm, I'm really not, you know, it's, people find this surprising. I'm really not that competitive at anything else. Um, I feel like, you know, golf is my, golf is my sort of, uh, it's, it's my vehicle for something to be better at anyone else at, and that's what I'm competitive at. But, you know, if I play any other sport or, you know, I, I play any other game with my friends and my family, um, I really don't, really not that competitive. But uh, soccer, I'm okay at. I mean, I, I get I get a little frustrated with myself on the soccer pitch if I don't if I don't play that well. But you know I I only play you know very rarely, so you know there's no no real chance to improve much. Who could uh, bench press more, you or Tiger? Uh, Tiger, I think. You Maybe, f- yeah, yeah, no, Tiger, 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 yeah. Well, it sounded like you weren't sure. <laughs> How much can well, you bench? I'm just thinking, I don't, you know, because I, I've probably, I've probably got shorter arms, so I don't have to move the bar <laughs> quite as far as he does. <laughs> what do you bench? What do you bench? Um, I mean, I, I, it's not like, I mean, I, if if I'm going for a max, I mean, I'd probably bench two, two thirty ish, two forty for one. I'm sure, I'm sure Tiger's up around a three hundred mark. But you're not doing kilograms there; you're doing pounds, right? No, no, that's pounds. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. Don't get that for yeah. Don't for do that. Kilograms. Your, all of your yeah. American <laughs> listeners. Yeah, kilos. Yeah, it's about a, it's about a hundred kilos. Hundred kilos, just over a hundred kilos. You get three stones or something like that. Whatever you guys, your metric system <laughs> over there. Uh, would you uh, would you do Seaton a favor? He thinks it's very funny. Like we've had Patrick Harrington on, and we had Patrick say thirty third, and Seaton thinks it's. The funny thing, uh, you know, when you have somebody from Ireland say uh, 33rd. So can you give us a 33rd? I'll give you a 33rd, but it won't be the same as Podrick's because he's from Dublin and then they they, they sort of struggle with their THs. <laughs> so the, they're 33rd. He, he would, he, Podrick would, would say 33rd. <laughs> I, I, would, I would actually pronounce it the TH, which, which oh, is the difference. So okay. so, I, I don't quite struggle with that. So you're more refined in Northern Ireland than those in Dublin is what you're saying. Oh, we're, 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 we're definitely more refined up there. Yes. <laughs> Turdy turd. Well, uh, congrats on the win, Rory. Uh, great to talk to you again. Thanks for joining us. No problem. Thanks, Don. Big fan of the show. All right. Thank you, Rory. Uh, it's Rory McElroy.